I love words to express what it means to me. He's a man of God, outstanding man of God, dedicated man of God. And uh, the way he speaks amazes me. The Lord has taken him far and wide to declare his words. And people are blessed. Amen. In this place, we are privileged to have yes. Apostle Jonas. I want to give the microphone to bless us. So Hunter, who needs interpretation for the Nigerian part of the song, I also need interpretation. I'm a Zimbabwean, but I'm excited to be here. I've, I've known these two great servants of God for years now, and I tell you, I am blessed every time I'm in their presence. I was supposed to bring my family today, but my wife is not feeling well. She was ready to come, but she couldn't make it. But let me just take this opportunity to appreciate the woman of God um, by getting into the Word of God because they are what they are because of what Christ is doing in their lives. Amen. And if you are wondering what's the secret, the secret is they love the Lord. And yeah. the Lord is doing great things in their lives. Yeah. And just coming in here today, I, I almost felt like tears coming out of my face because I'm thinking of my wife. And I'm thinking of these opportunities where we are coming here and we're seeing again and again the glory of worship continuing to overshadow this house. Yeah. It is amazing. It is not going down, but it keeps on going up. So we thank God so much. I want to share just, just for a few minutes, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse number 18. And if I was going to give a short title to this uh, encouragement, I was going to call it Grow in the Spirit of Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Grow in the spirit of gratitude. The Bible says, but grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forevermore. Yes. You see, one of the things that I've discovered is growth is a sign of life. Growth is a sign of life. When, when somebody is alive, we see them change from one vision to the next vision to the next vision. And I want to ask you a question as I start today because we are celebrating the woman of God. It's one year added to her life. But I have this question for all of us, even as we are celebrating. What would it look like for you if today you would wake up with only the things that you thanked God for yesterday? What would it look like for you if you would wake up today with only the things that you thanked God for yesterday night? What would you have? Most of us would wake up with nothing because we don't remember the last time we say to God, thank you. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for life. In the midst of this pandemic, we are still breathing. We are still going on. And I want to encourage you, have a gratitude spirit. Have a spirit that says, Lord, I thank you. I am grateful. I may not have all that I want, but I thank you. I may not have the kind of job that I'm praying for yet, but I'm thankful. I may not be the way that I want, living where I want, but I am so thankful. You know, we're living in an unthankful generation. You know, when I grew up, I don't know you, but when I grew up, we used to say when you get into the bus, when you're getting off the bus, you say to the driver, thank, thank you. you. Right. Nowadays, they just jump off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I when I have time to do part-time work, I do door dash, I do deliveries. And what I've realized is there is a sense of entitlement that is overshadowed and taken over our people. Mm -hmm. People think that they are entitled to receive whatever is coming their way. But we need to come to a point where we realize that, you know what? God is faithful. 
Thank him for the ability to be alive. Thank you for the things that he has given you. Thank you for every day that is opening up for you. And I want you to I want you to realize this. The human being by nature is the only human is the only species that recognizes the growth of the other. Now because of that, God has packed miracles at every level of growth. Maybe let me paraphrase it because I have a few minutes here. You will discover that when a baby is a baby, they are created as a baby or born as a baby, but with every function that is necessary at the level of maturity. Yes. They don't they grow the legs later on when they need to walk. They don't grow the hands later on when they need to touch. They are born with the hands even though the hands are not yet useful. They are born with the legs even though the legs are not yet functional. But God gives them everything that is necessary for growth because he's preparing them that as they grow, grow, they encounter and unlock the blessings of each level of growth as they get to it. And I want you to realize that in life, everything that is pegged for you is pegged in your growth. Whether it's material, whether it's spiritual, whether it's physical, or whether it is in any dimension, everything in your life is locked based on your growth graph. And I want to say this to you. Do you know that the next version of yourself oh i wish i could do this I, I want i want to say this to you that vision of your life that gave you the blessings that have taken you this far when god adds a year to your life he's saying i want you to evolve to the next vision of yourself that unlocks the blessings that could not be unlocked from, from the former vision I don't know if you are hearing what I'm talking about. Every vision of your life, every vision of yourself unlocks blessings that are at that level. In other words, there are blessings that will only be unlocked if the next vision of yourself comes up. If I buy a Mercedes Benz today, a 2021 Mercedes Benz, and in my house I have another 2017 Mercedes Benz. Mm. They are all cars from the Mercedes factory. They all have the Mercedes logo. They all start and run probably the same. Yeah. But here is the miracle. If you take the key from the 2017 model and try to use it to the 2020, 2021 model, even though they are all Mercedes Benz, even they all have the same logo, even they are all coming from the same company, it won't release the capacity of the functions of the 2021 version because it's saying you are of a slower and way back version. In other words, when you grow in the Lord, every level that you get to by divine instruction, listen to this, this is very important, by divine instruction, every level you get into, the, the code that is coded with that level in the laws of nature and in the laws of divine law will trigger the release of blessings that will come to your way as you get to that level. In other words, there is money that is supposed to come to you and me probably from people that we are meeting every day, but the reason why it's not coming, it is because by divine command and by divine plan, it was meant to release the money to a next version of myself. So if I lock myself at this version, I will have the people that are supposed to bless me and help me, but they won't bless me. The moment I manifest at that evolved level, the blessings that are supposed to be unlocked, they have no option. That is why you hear the scripture that says, all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. I want to encourage you. The secret to the Christian life is growth. If you only grow, every level that you get to, you unlock a certain level of blessing. Every level that you grow into. That's why the Bible says, even as we look into the scriptures, as we are beholding his face as in a mirror, we are being conformed to the image of his dear son. Now, the more we are becoming more like him, is the more we become super masters and dominant over the planet Earth. That is why Jesus didn't need a bank account, because the vision that he had manifested didn't need a bank account. Everywhere he went, things would cough up money, fish would cough up, cough up money, people would sub, sub, support him from their substances because he was at a vision where you can't say no. He would speak to the sea and it had to obey. He would rebuke the trees and they would have to obey. He would rebuke the waters and they would fall in the spirit because the vision that he had evolved into, it was a vision where all things are possible. 
with Woo! my encouragement today. Yeah, 2021, just take a step and say, I'll take one step to grow a little bit better. Yes. In gratitude. Yes. To wake up in the morning and just say, thank you, Lord. Yes. <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror. My wife had been sick for two and a half years now. And you know, I've prayed for people that come to our house. They come to our house, they go back healed. And I'm sitting in my house and I'm asking myself, but Lord, why with my wife? And I've had people call me and say to me, we have seen your videos in Africa. We have seen people come to your house. And we have seen people receiving miracle after miracle. If this miracle grace is real, why is it not working on your wife? And, and as it is boiling inside of me, I, I realize all that I need to do right now is not look for an answer, but to wake up and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my wife in the situation that she is. Thank you that it is not making sense. Thank you that she is in pain. At times we wake up in the middle of the night, instead of praying, my tears are running over my face and I say, Lord, I still love you. Even though you slay me, you are my king and you are my master. You will make all things work together for good one way or the other. Amen. Grow in gratitude. Yes. This is gratitude. Yes. We are grateful that God yes. has kept you this far. Yes. We are grateful that the next version of yourself is going to see us at another dimension. Yes. Because every level has a devil. But every level has a blessing. Yes. Let me close by saying this. Every time you evolve to your next level, God will use an enemy to announce that we have exhausted the benefits of the former level. I, I don't know if you can hear me. Every time you, you get to the next level, God will use the enemy to announce to you that you have exhausted the benefits of your former level. That is why if Goliath had not appeared, David would have died a shepherd boy. It took the coming of Goliath as an enemy to promote David to the position of power. If Judas Iscariot had not appeared, Jesus would not have gone to glory. The moment Judas Iscariot appeared, Jesus was 24 hours away from glory. Because enemies do not come to announce our demise, they come to announce our level of promotion. That is why when things get bad, they get tough, just lift up your hands. Let me close this. The Bible says there are seven words of praise. One of the words of praise is Yada. The word Yada simply means surrender. Now, I have my son, my three-year-old boy, and we are walking. He loves walking with me, going out and following me everywhere I go. And so at times I'm walking with him and he's running and he's going ahead and coming back. And we are walking. But sooner or later he gets tired. Now when this boy gets tired, he doesn't tell me that I'm tired. He will be running or walking beside me, but suddenly he just turns his head. And... <laughs> Woo! That is enough for me to know what he needs. The moment he does that, I remember Yada. I pick the boy up and put him in my hand. So when you're walking in life and you're tired and you can't do anything else, just turn around. I Yada, you God. I can't take on this journey by myself. At times I woke up in the middle of the night. I don't want to wake up my kids, so I'm not going to pray. But what I do is just lift up my hands. Walk the whole of my dining room, lifting up my hands. I say, Lord, I'm tired, but I want you to lift me up. <laughs> because you are so good. You are so awesome. I praise the Lord because he is a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, think, or imagine according to his power that is already at work in us. One more year. One more level. Amen. The next years that are coming. I can imagine if this level has led you to where you are right now. Imagine what the next vision is going to take you. Imagine what the next vision for that one is going to take you. That is why he says to us, be ye grateful. Amen. Come on, take your name and tell us to be grateful. Bless the Lord this afternoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.